Norman Seawright C joining us now. So a lot of our athletes, even on the college level, staying busy, keep competing. Jeff, yes, eSports continuing to grow. We talk about this a lot, but especially since there are no other live American events in the spotlight right now. Bethel University's eSports club kicked off their second Rocket League tournament competition this weekend, connecting community and establishing another competitive outlet at the school. The plan was always to do a second one, and then you know, when COVID-19 came along and things started getting canceled, uh, I, I thought to myself, you know, how, how can we still host this tournament without um, majorly impacting the gameplay, the spectatorship, um, impacting, you know, just the whole, the whole aspect of, of getting the competition and getting students in the community and stuff like that so so why did you guys choose esports I mean, what what led you to this you know when i was an ra that's what i saw the students especially especially guys that's what i saw them doing in their free time with there's not really at bethel at least there hasn't really been an outlet for uh competitive gaming yet and that was my goal was to try to start that students could be a part of where they could game in community with each other. What it, the effect that it has on people like mentally, where they're, they're able to still connect with each other. You know, students are gaming every night and we, the club that we had, we only met in person once a week, the first week of February. So only got like five weeks to meet up before COVID came along. Even though we were only meeting once a week, the students were already playing together communicating together constantly, you know, every day, every night, um, playing games together remotely anyways. I think it has meant a lot to them to not uh, not have that huge shift. Um, it's one, one piece of normalcy in the whirlwind of change that's going on right now. And what are you hoping these, that the students get out of this, uh, this tournament coming up? You know, every other varsity sport at Bethel has been canceled. Every season is done. And here we are, you know, here NASCAR is doing uh, their races via eSports and all that stuff. So uh, eSports has prevailed through the, the COVID season. And um, so I think, yeah, it's definitely for students uh, to show them that, that we want them to compete. We want them to grow in their, their skills as gamers and, at, um, and we want them to focus on those things. But a lot of it honestly is for administration, for the, the people at Bethel who make kind of the bigger decisions going forward saying, hey, yes, we do want this to be a varsity program or no, we don't. So as you heard, Jeff, they do want to see this potentially become a varsity program at Bethel. Well, we see that happening at a lot of other universities, so I'm sure it's in Bethel's future. Thanks, Norman. Mm -hmm.